Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy, and today I'm going to be doing a mallard duck sitting on a lake. Um, this piece actually took three days fiddling around with uh, with the water and all the details on the duck and stuff. Um, I also show you how I put it on a backboard, backer board, and a mat. So there's lots and lots and lots of layers here. I use my um, Derwent Ink Tense pencils and my Ink Tense blocks for this. It seems like there's not a whole lot of pigment going down at first, but then when you add water, all the colors come to life. I do have liquid masking fluid over the duck that I drew to help keep that um, clean and separate from the water. Um, I did not... Um, use the masking fluid on the duck's reflection because I wanted that to to be more like water than the duck because it's reflection not the duck and you have to wait between layers um, let, it, let it all dry before you put the next layer on. I really like this medium because you can keep layering as many times as you want until until you like what you see. To me, it's kind of an in between between uh, watercolor and color pencil um, it's more vibrant like um, color pencil when you blend it out with mineral spirits but you don't use mineral spirits with this you use water so I really I prefer that because then you're not using any kind of chemicals or whatever just just regular tap water works really well I do think the um, the ink tense blocks, the white on that works better than the color pencil one or the ink tense pencil white. Um, at least for me, it does. It shows up better. And then I use a rubber cement eraser to lift the rubber or the. Um, masking fluid off the deck and I do lots and lots of layers on this guy too So even though this seems like I'm doing it really fast, this was like three days, three days work. Well, not full days, it was three, 
three days though, but you know, a few hours every day. go back and forth with using the ink tints blocks and the ink tints pencils. I just go back and forth adding in little details and layers. You can see that the light, um, the lighter colors can go over the darker colors pretty nicely with these. That's something you can't do with, with watercolor or color pencil, really. I mean, I, some, some colors might be able to go over darker colors, but typically you have to work from light to dark on, on a lot of mediums. Um, acrylic paint you don't have to and these you can get away with going dark to light as long as you have the ink tints blocks
Okay, so to <clears throat> preserve your art, um, use double-sided tape on a backer board. Um, you place the tape and you smooth it down. Um, you keep the, the little uh, lining on the tape until you've positioned where you want it to be. Then you'll pull off the backing on the double-sided tape and you'll place your art and make sure you just smooth it down. Then you will take um, linen hinging tape and tape your mat to your backer board so that way it can be closed and then you will slide your art into a plastic sleeve unless you already have a frame for your work. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day!